Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we are going to talk about parallel mediation analysis using process macro in Smart PLS form. Professor Hayes has suggested many types of relations relationship which can exist between constructs. You can see in the first model, the dependent variable y is affected by the the dependent variable y is affected by the independent variable x, and the relationship is moderated by third variable which is m we have already discussed model 1 in smart pls kindly refer my playlist in which you will find how to carry out the analysis of moderation then we had also discussed model 2 where we are introducing two moderating variable at the same time we have also seen that if the mediation is to be included. That is, y is a dependent variable which is affected by independent variable x. So, x is affecting y directly, or there is still another route in which x is affecting y, and that is through mediating variable mi, and that is an indirect effect. So, this is model 4. Again, we had also discussed in my previous video model 6. These are complicated models. Yeah, this one where two mediators are included in the model. So X is affecting Y directly, X is affecting Y through M1, X is affecting Y through M2, and X is affecting Y through M1 and M2. Now there can be another possibility. Let's see what is that possibility in Smart PLS. So first of all, I'll activate the new project. I'll write down here process, create, Import the data file which is empty cars open and press simply import. All the basic statistics are generated. Press the back button. Now click on create the model. Make sure this time you choose process. And I'll name this file as parallel mediation. Save. Now I want to say that that is the mileage of the vehicle is affected by the weight of the vehicle. So this is a direct relationship between weight and mileage. But this relationship can be mediated by the horsepower. That is, we know that as the weight increases, the horsepower of the vehicle increases. So we want to include this effect here. We will connect this. So weight affecting the horsepower, horsepower is affecting the mileage of the vehicle. I will include another mediating variable, but this time I will include the mediator variable here. So this is a displacement of the vehicle which I am including. So there is a parallel mediation which is, which is considered. Weight affecting horsepower and horsepower affecting the mileage. But weight is also affecting the displacement of the vehicle, which in turn is affecting the mileage of the vehicle. This is a parallel mediation. In my previous video, we had discussed the serial mediation. Now we want to see the effect of it. So we'll go and calculate, bootstrapping, start the calculation. Open the report, click on path coefficients. All those paths whose p-value is less than 0 0.05, this path coefficients are significant. So you can see here all those which are in green, their p-value is less than 0 0.05 and they are significant paths. But displacement to mileage, its p-value is more than 0 0.05 and therefore we cannot accept. It means that the path coefficient is insignificant. Further, the thing can be confirmed by confidence intervals bias corrected. If zero is present in this confidence interval, the path coefficients are insignificant. You can see here negative, neg negative, it means zero is not present and this path is significant. Positive to positive, zero is not present and therefore this path is significant. Positive to positive, it means that this path is significant. Negative to negative, zero not present, this path is significant. But if I talk about displacement to mileage, displacement affecting the mileage, 
negative to positive zero present it means that this path coefficient is insignificant we can capture another effects also directly click on specific indirect effects weight affecting mileage through horsepower weight affecting the mileage also through the displacement now we will have to see first of all which effect is more which effect is significant so there can be number of possibilities which we'll have to see you can see here that the p value of weight to horsepower is less than weight to horsepower to mileage is less than 0 0.05 it means that this path is significant this is insignificant now there can be some scenarios let's see first of all i'll copy this by clicking here copy to excel and you will get this table now you remove this statistics and only retain the p value now here the first possibility is that this is significant as the p-value is less than 0 0.05 and this is not significant so nothing to worry only one path is significant so let me insert this insert first scenario now there can be another scenario copy second scenario control v let us copy this thing from here copy control v now here it may be possible that this figure is 0.919 and this is 0 0.011 so here also the things are very clear this is not significant and this is significant so we allow to only report the path which is significant so here this was here this was significant here this is significant third scenario where both of them are significant this also and this also now in this situation significant and significant in this situation you will have to discuss that the path this path as it's path coefficient is higher is more you can say significant because its value is minus 1.438 and this is less significant in the sense that the influence is less so indirect coming uh, indirect effect coming through this route is having more magnitude in comparison to the indirect coming indirect effect coming through this path now the last scenario is fourth scenario in this case there can be a possibility that both of them are having p value more than so here we don't report anything non-significant and non-significant there can be four possibilities this is a way you will report that is a parallel mediation in small for more videos on Smart PLS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can see my playlist in which I've already uploaded many videos of Smart PLS. For please don't forget to press the like button. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.